then just to show you <coughs> okay so this is the setup right and we have a circuit okay so we've got there's a switchable diode so to make it so it's half wave we've got a variable resistor and a potential divider system there okay and at the moment the capacitor isn't in the circuit but the light is okay so there we go that's main input bridge rectifier blah 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 okay the fuse isn't the fuse is the plugs fuse okay so diode with switch yep and the top resistor is a 3.4k which is this guy here it's two 6.8 k's in parallel okay and then we've got a variable uh, a potentiometer which is yeah cracky that took a while anyway there it is and uh, the Lucy K, which is one of those, and it's just basically to stabilize the voltage. Okay, and I've got my scope. Now this scope only goes up to, I think, about 100 volts. So I've had to put a potential divider in there. <laughs> so the voltages that are shown on the scope are going to be a tenth of what they really are, simply because of the uh, limitations of that. It's a 1 meg with a 100K potential divider. And we've got our, our pretend battery, which is a capacitor. Okay. And that's about it. There's the uh, electrics coming in. And the fuse. Okay. And so I can now turn this up a bit. And you'll see the phase come in. There's a quarter phase. Should be a quarter. There we go. Okay. So you can see it. The light comes on. Just. There you go. That's a quarter phase. And we've got, you know about 55 volts, uh, sort of hovering around a 55, oh, flip then, it, the, it's relying on the mains being stable to trigger it, because the gate circuit is quite sensitive, but once you get above the actual trigger, so I can take it up to say, I don't know, so that's a 50% phase trigger, obviously we're half phase here, and now we're on, you know, 97, it's relatively stable, the light's a bit bright, brighter, okay, and then I can take it up to what would be 100% of the half wave and now we've got 106 and the light's brighter so that's so that's about half the phase uh, just coming in and full that's this is a half wave of course 100% of a half wave so it's 50% in actual fact now so that works we've got 106 volts okay so if I turn it off and now let's go to full wave it comes on slightly because the voltage is actually enough to trigger it. So we get the negative part of the wave and it's already at 50% ish, slightly more. And 86 volts and the lights come on. Okay. And then I can increase that, right? And you get the full phase coming in. As you can see, it's just triggered the half wave bit. Right. And now we've got 145 volts and the light's a bit brighter. And then I can take it up to. Um, on, well, I can go linearly up to full, as you can see. Okay, so that's down and up again. Okay, and the voltage varies. Okay, let's go down to the bottom when it's only just coming on, right? Which is minimum. It's actually lit. Okay, so that's 86, 87 volts, and then I can take it up, and you'll see that it will jump when the second. Uh, part of the phase comes in the top half so that's still on the bottom there you go it flicked up okay to 150 now what I might do is stick a resistor in there to stop that from happening but there we go and it goes linearly up to and on this it's 214 volts and that's the full power of the light roughly and as you can see we've got a nice clean sine wave haven't we uh, there you go see it doesn't get much cleaner there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. 213. So that's it for the light. That basically shows, you know, you can vary from low to high. And if you're on half wave, it's kind of from that's the highest down to nothing. Okay. So it's your basic dimmer. Yeah. Half wave. And full wave. There you go, you can see it comes quite a bit brighter, doesn't it? Okay. There. Now, 
with the capacitor. So we take out the lamp, okay, and we put in our capacitor, which is through a two, 240 ohm resistor. Okay, and now we're not showing an awful lot, and the voltage actually across the terminals of the capacitor is rising. Okay, this is the equivalent of charging a battery, of course. Right, 30 volts, and so I can now bring it in as you can see and we're on a half wave rectification so if I bring it up, there you go now the spike is because it starts and then it, the, the, uh, it spikes so as to show the half wave and it kind of goes, because it's in series you see, this is in series with the circuit so now it's increasing a bit faster and I can take it up further and you'll see a spike come in as I take, there you go, see 140 and as I take it up to full half wave, which is that, 50% as if it were, okay, and it's giving me 270 volts, and that's rising. Now if I turn this down again, of course, it still stays at 200, well, in this case, 80 volts. It's dropping slightly. Okay, so now we can again go to the full wave, and we can see that, and immediately we do see it jump, as you can see. No, you can't, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's 280, and then I can turn it up further, and you'll see that it'll kind of complete the, the full wave as it gets to the top. There you go. It kind of rounds it out. And now we're on 298, 300, and that will continue to go up now to about 333 volts. Okay, so it's doing a 300 volt charge. Okay, the meter's complaining because the battery's low. Okay, and you will see that. Let me just tell it not to do that. <clears throat> you'll see that rise it takes about a minute basically to go up to the full voltage which is 333, 334 which is the maximum you're going to get the capacitor up to okay now this is measured across the terminals of the capacitor okay or across the the uh, lamp itself okay rather than at the triac as you can 